16 seconds. Every 16 seconds, another family is impacted. Being a part of a family that has been impacted by suicide, I know the severity of the issue and why we need to make a change. It's crazy we live in a world where one in four people will deal with an episode of depression before the age of 24, and one in five American adults have experienced a mental health issue. From ages 15 to 24, the third leading cause of death is suicide. These numbers are way too high, but they can be fixed. When someone dealing with depression or a mental health issue visits a therapist, the likelihood of them committing suicide is decreased drastically. This is why starting in junior high, school should require students to go to counseling twice a year to erase the stigma of looking weak when going to therapy and getting help for yourself. When someone with cancer dies, the actual cause of death is liver failure or heart attack caused by the cancer. But when we talk about the cause of death for that person, we still say they died of cancer. But when someone takes their own life, we say they died of suicide instead of going to the cause of the suicide, which differs from case to case, but is mainly depression and mental health. If we say someone died of depression instead of someone died of suicide, more awareness will be brought to the issue and will be better for the people going through these problems. If as a society we can create a network for people going through depression or mental health issues or people who have suicidal thoughts, we can create a place where those people feel more comfortable and are more likely to reach out and get help. If we can succeed at this, we can help save lives and cut down the number of people who are like me and know the hardships of having a loved one lose the battle to depression. I'm Colin Dickerson and this is my perspective. a loved one.